Welcome to FM23, everybody. If you're new to the channel, where on earth have you been? My name is Llama, and today we're going to start our new football manager adventure, and it is going to be an epic. I've tried to dream up what I think will be the hardest football manager challenge ever attempted. We're going to call it the Dobfather, for reasons that will become clear later on, and my marketing team tell me this is going to become your new favourite football manager series. Welcome to the airport, everybody. Passports at the ready. Let's start by revealing the nation that we're going to be in. And 2023 is going to be a time of huge growth on the channel. And everybody always tells me that if you want to attract new subscribers, you've got to do your series in one of the big five leagues. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to head to the toughest league to win in the world. Pack your bags, everybody. We're heading to Slovenia. Come on, don't pretend you're not excited. We've all thought about starting a save in Slovenia. We're not even going for one of the top clubs, by the way. We're going to be in the second division. Come on, the plane is departing. Let's get to the gate. I'll see you out there and we'll introduce you to the club. Seriously, Alan, Slovenia? What the heck are we going to do in Slovenia? So here we are, everybody, on the outskirts of the town of Domšala in central Slovenia. I'm sure you're as excited to be here as I am. We've got a short walk to the outskirts of town where we'll arrive at the stadium. Seriously, Alan, this has got disaster written all over it. We're going to get sacked within minutes. And here we are, everybody. Find a seat. I'll warn you, there's not many to go around, as we'll see shortly. This is the home of NK Roltec Dob in the Slovenian second division. This is going to be our home for the many, many years that we're going to be in charge of this great club whilst we try to become the Dob father. <sighs> And here we are poised to take over. We're at an arena that holds almost 288 fans. It feels like we've hit the big time. Genuinely, Alan, I've never felt further from the big time. And our first order of business is to help poor Jernar Javornich pack up their desk. They're no longer going to be manager of NK Roltec Dob. We are taking control. We are going to be at the helm of the 12th best club in the Slovenian second division. Tell me it gets any bigger than that. We're going to have no coaching badges. Sunday league footballer is pushing it in my case, but that's as low as it can go. Let's take over at this great club and start our new Dobfather adventure. So the ink is dry on the contract. We've got our first job in FM23. Seriously, Alan, you got me £450 a week. That's not bad. So let's introduce you to the stipulations of this save, because let's be honest with each other, the only reason any of you are here is to watch me suffer. I see you at the back, by the way. So let's make this save infinitely harder, shall we? For FM23, we're going to make our time with NK Roltec Dob. A youth-only adventure, relying on players that come through our own youth academy. Now, brace yourselves. That doesn't mean that we're not going to allow ourselves to sign any players whatsoever. We're going to be able to re-sign any players that come through our youth intakes. But that won't be the only stipulation of this save, because for FM23, a tribute masking is no longer enough. That's right. Wave goodbye to your technicals. It's a Riva Dirty to the mentals. It's Sayonara to the physicals. Because the time has come to turn out the lights. Yes, that's right. In order to make FM23 as brutal and miserable experience as possible, we're going to start in the Slovenian second division at a club whose stadium holds fewer than 300 supporters. We're going to rely on Academy products and we're not even going to be able to see how good they are whilst we're trying to develop them. Seriously, Alan, this is beyond a joke. I'm not sure I can do this. However, we do have one thing in our favour. We've got a roll tech. So what on earth is a roll tech? I hear you cry. Well, funny you should ask because NK Dob are backed by Dom Jale's premier manufacturer of blinds and shutters, the roll tech company. Now these boys, they know how to block out sunshine. They've got Venetian blinds. They've got roller blinds. They'll even do you a cheeky garage door if you ask nicely. Why are we keeping the dog on a rug in the garage? Not entirely sure, but these boys are not messing about. Have a look at these. We've got some front-mounted roller shutters for you, and they do their bit for the environment. Look how many solar panels they've got on their roof. They are a decent operation, you know, and they spout a message that I think we can get on board with. They're all about the customer service, and you'll be glad to know that they do, of course, meet the new EU standards for sun protection. I could tell some of you were worried. 
Don't you have any concerns? They're fully up to date when it comes to meeting the code. There's the gang in the factory there making their blinds. There's the crew in the sales office just shifting another set of roller blinds. And thankfully, the sun-blocking powerhouses are the financial backers of NK Dob. So every time they sell a Venetian blind, a minuscule fraction of that might come back to the club to help us develop more players. And so here is the ultimate goal of the save, and it is an ambitious one. Call me a fool, many people will. But whilst those other football manager YouTubers are vainly tagging the clubs that they're managing in on tweets in the hope that they might get a shirt, even invited to a game, potentially get to train with the club they've been managing, we are going bigger. We're going right to the top. During the course of this series, we want it to become so well known that the people at Rolltech send us a free roller blind. I know it's going to be very difficult to pull off, but you've got to dream in this game. And don't you worry, I'm not alone out here. I'm going to have the support of my staff. And the staff is made up of goalkeeping coach Simon Thornley. No-nonsense fitness enthusiast Paul Patrick. As first-team coach, we've got the experience of Scott Thomas. And we'll try and explain what on earth is going on with our assistant manager shortly. But all of the coaching staff are made up from some of our top-tier patrons. And thank you to all of the patrons for their continued support of this absolute nonsense that we're churning out three times a week. Genuinely, we can't thank you enough. And if anybody wants to join in the fun, we're going to pop a link down in the video description below. You can head over to the Patreon page if you wish and sign up to pledge your support as well. And so to that assistant manager, this is Nomin Chulu Kanzayam and Kadinik Turgledor, or Nom for short. Now, Nom and I first met in FM20 when we were cellmates in a prison after I was wrongly incarcerated for a crime I did not commit that involved stealing a goat that was the mascot of the Mongolian national team. Seriously, Alan, it was ridiculous back in FM20. I don't think they're going to buy it now either. Now, Nom and I masterminded several very average single-figure defeats for the Northern Mariana national team and he became known as one of the most respected coaches in Southeast Asia. But you know how it is, fame and fortune beckoned. And after his starring role in Island Dreams the movie, he relocated to Hollywood and left me on my own. For him it was all red carpets, celebrity parties and seven figure movie contracts. Seriously, this genuinely all happened in FM20. We'll pop a link to the series over in the top corner if you want to check it out. But of course it all caught up with him. He parted too hard. There were a series of tabloid scandals and Nom got cancelled. But we can't leave that old scoundrel out in the wilderness any longer, so for FM23 he's going to be my assistant manager. But let's try and be at least semi-serious for the remainder of the video, shall we? Because this is going to be the hardest FM challenge I've ever taken on. Trying to develop youth players when you can't see any of their attributes is going to be an uphill task. And I don't think we have any latitude for tactical mistakes. We're going to have to be on it. It's like the proverbial carb on it from the absolute outset. So this is how I'm thinking we're going to set up. NK Dob are predicted to finish 12th in the Slovenian second tier. So they are no great shakes. I don't think the squad is very good. Although when I click on them, I can't see any of their attributes anyway. But I want to try and make us pretty solid and hard to beat in this first season. So I'm thinking the way we're going to line up is in a 4-5-1 kind of shape, but with the two wingers a little bit further advanced. What I'd like to try and do in this system is to create myself a nice little mid-block tactic where we're going to let central defenders have the ball, but as soon as fullbacks, wingers, or central midfielders get it, we're going to pounce on them like a cougar on a carcass, try and win the ball back, and launch them swift counter-attacks, utilising the pace and the strength, which I don't know they have because I can't see their attributes, of our wide players. Now, we're not going to do that through triggering the press. In fact, I've got a video over on the manager's seat, incidentally, about how I'm going to set up my pressing for this tactic. But what we are going to do is to make sure that we are a counter-attacking side, but also one that doesn't just thump the ball forward. One of the things I will be able to see about my players, by the way, is their height. And I normally, 
I'm referred to as a long ball merchant, but not in this save. We're going to try and counterattack using pace and width rather than going front to back too early. I've just lost about 300 subscribers explaining that, I think, because they want the long ball tactic, but not this time. We're going to keep our attacking width pretty wide. We're going to try and utilize the flanks as much as we possibly can, and we're going to play out of defense so we're not thumping the ball long. Am I going to play for set pieces as I often will when I can't see who's good at corners and who's good at free kicks in this squad? So probably not. I'm thinking in terms of team instructions, that's all we'll add for now. But if we're going to be playing these wide men, I want them heavily involved in the game. I want them to be rampaging forward at the earliest opportunity. And I want them to have some support out there as well. Not from Mazalas, because I want to try and keep the center of the pitch pretty compact if I can. So instead, we're going to go for a brace of wingbacks who might provide us some wide overloads, or at least that is my hope. And as ever, feel free to hit pause and let me know what I'm doing wrong tactically down in the comments below. That gives you much material to work with. Now, the center of the midfield, I think, is going to be crucial for us. I like the idea of having a destroyer, a number six who's going to break up play. They could be a ball-winning midfielder on defend. I'm thinking we're going to make them a central midfielder on defend, and we might add some additional player instructions. For example, I can't see what their passing is, but I might ask them to keep their passing nice and short, maybe take fewer risks, and I'm thinking that maybe if they're a defensive midfielder, they might be a bit of a clogger, and so they can just shovel the ball around to their central midfield teammates. So I'm going to ask to be a little bit more adventurous. One of them we're going to have as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So they're going to be trying to get forward to support the wide play and the attacking central play, but also regularly chasing back to help Harry press and win the ball back for us. But in order to give us a bit of a supplementary goal threat alongside our lone striker, we're also going to play a central midfielder on attack as well so that they can run into the box, arrive late, headers, volleys, probably scuffed efforts wide if I'm honest, but that could be another route for goals for us. And then we've got this front man here. The poacher has been working meticulously well for me during FM23 so far, but as a soul striker, we might need this player to offer a little bit more in the build-up play. We're going to go with a deep line forward on attack for now, but that's the role I'm least convinced with in this whole tactical system. Once more, head down to the comment section and let me know what kind of roles you like to play when you're playing a lone front man. So the tactic is designed, but who are the players we're going to select? Well, that's where we're going to pick up in our next episode as we play our first preseason friendly without being able to see any of their attributes, I'm going to be relying on you, the viewer, as data analysts and scouts to report back on the players' strengths and their many, many weaknesses in the hope that they might help us produce a winning formula. So there is our FM23 save. I'd love it if you joined us on the adventure. It's going to be one heck of an uphill struggle, but the Dobfather is also going to be your new favourite FM23 series.